Hey all my two-wheeled friends, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Shadow Day! Shadow Day is the day that the Honda Shadow Spirit 750 gets debuted on the two-wheeled channel. My name is Dustin, thanks for coming along with me. As you can see, it is nighttime. It is a little bit after 7 o'clock on a beautiful November night. I think it's about 50 degrees, which I will take for November. So tonight, while I am on my route home, thought I would talk a little bit about lighting for this Honda Shadow. So let's roll the intro and we'll chat about it a little. Thanks for coming along for the ride too, old friends. If you are new to the channel, be sure to go down and click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you're notified when I upload any future activity. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I would really like you to comment below. I know I have a lot of Honda Shadow riders in the crowd. So I thought I would get your input. I have received a recommendation or two about what to put in for a headlight. Now I would really like to upgrade the lighting, primarily the main headlight on this thing, to an LED. Now I know there's been talk about certain LEDs will work, but then the, the entire outer housing needs to be replaced, which then you gotta find a housing that'll work for the certain light, and I really don't wanna mess with the housing. I would like to keep the stock housing I have heard of people replacing the bulb on the inside and that makes a big difference and that's kind of what I've had recommended but I didn't know if there was anything like plug and play where I could just pop out the entire headlight, pop something else in and, and plug it in and away I go. Now I know there would be a little bit of work <laughs> you know in the in between but this is a project that I plan to do over winter. So I'm just trying to plan ahead, get some feedback. If any of you guys out there and gals have replaced your lighting, drop a comment below. I would like to know what you have. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, feel free to even private message me what you have because I'm open for suggestions. I would kind of like to follow the majority of what looks good, what works. I know some folks have had to cut the cooling fins and all that. They've had to like scribe little grooves in them and all that to make them fit. And I guess as long as that works and doesn't hurt the light at all, you know, that, that would be fine too. I just don't want to create any electrical issues down the road on this thing. Uh, I know when you start messing with electrical components, it opens up that whole thing and I, I want this thing to not have those issues. So if you got something that's tested and tried, let me know. What are they doing? They're playing softball out there, soccer maybe. I'm a little chilly. Also, there's a possibility it smells like spray paint. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like squirrel. Uh, you know, of doing the indicators too. Whether doing just covers or completely replacing those for LEDs. So if you have something front and rear that look good, to change them out, let me know. So here we get a pretty good look because it's, it's pretty dark out. Actually, I think there's a, a pretty good moon tonight, too. But you, 
can kind of see where these lights shine. This is low beam. So I like something a little bit brighter. So if you got an idea, think it might work for me, leave a comment below. And that's pretty much all this video is going to be, two wheeled friends. Leave a comment below if you're new to the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Ring that bell so you're notified when I upload next. I don't know if you're going to see this, but until next time, peace out. And we will see you later. Bye-bye.